I did this video because I thought it would be helpful for people to learn a little more about therapists in general. I keep getting this question, how do you know who's the right therapist for you? Often I will see somebody as a couple first, but then they want to see an individual therapist and they're looking out there, but they're like, who do you go to? How do you know they're good for you? What do those letters at the end of their name mean? So. It's kind of a challenging answer, but I want to give you some feedback so that when you're looking for a therapist, you find somebody that's good for you. So the first thing is look at the letters at the end of their name. These are the licenses. I'll explain them real briefly. Uh, there's LMFT. I'm an LMFT. That is Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist. These people have, um, have gotten their training specifically to work with couples and families. Um, but they also still just have a broad mental health training, okay? There is the LPC. LPC is Licensed Professional Counselor, and they have, again, been offered a broad mental health training. Theirs is a little bit more focused on individual treatment. They may have had one or two classes for couples or marriage if they were interested in that, but in general, theirs is more general counseling for the public. There's LCSW, that is Licensed Clinical Social Worker. And what they do in their training, they also get a broad mental health treatment uh, training, but they also go like um, a little bit beyond. It's not all clinical in terms of like counseling one-to-one. -one. Sometimes they get training in what we call macro level um, work, which would be like working in an agency or even working with the military. But so they have macro and micro clinical work is called is like micro work basically one-on-one -on -one with clients but macro work is more above in the, the higher ups in the company or running an agency and so sometimes social workers have a little bit broader of a training when it comes to the different areas and then there's also uh, there's also clinical clinical psychologist so a clinical psychologist is somebody who has actually gotten the PhD. So you'll look for the PhD and that's somebody who's gone a step beyond like the ones I've described could be master's levels or doctorate levels. But when you see a PhD, that's somebody who has gone beyond just the master's level training and they've gone on to get a doctorate. And usually a doctorate, a PhD also has some sort of research backing to what they've done because you know, to get a PhD, basically you're researching that field in depth. Okay, so those are the basic licenses you may see out there. Um, now, so any of those licenses, you know they have a basic mental health training. They can deal with anxiety, depression, bipolar, um, you know, general life transitions that you're struggling with, getting support, that sort of thing. So then beyond that, if you were to think of this like um, doctors, doctors are PCPs and then they're specialists. So everybody gets the PCP training <laughs> or the, you know, the basic mental health training. But then above that, then you look for things like specializations. So one of my specializations is sex therapy. I am ASEC certified. That's the, the body that does that. So there are different certifications people can get in different areas. There's play therapy certifications. So like if you have a kid and you're trying to look for treatment for them, sometimes play therapy is a good way to do that because kids like to play, right? Um, so you would look for something in terms of a certification for play therapy. Are there people who get certified in a specific model of treatment? Like there's emotion focused couples therapy. Well, if you like emotions and, <laughs> and you're a couple, you might like that person. Um, and so I, I would look at some of those letters behind their names and just research that a little bit. Like what is that certification and what does that help them do better? Because what it essentially means is they've gone above the basic PCP training or the, the PCP means primary care, you know, like they've gone through the basic mental health and they're going a step beyond and really specializing in something that matters to them. Um, and then of course, just ask them as well. Like, what do they feel the most, most comfortable with? One question I tell all of my clients to ask if they're looking for a therapist is to ask if they're insight oriented or change oriented or both. Um, insight oriented therapists tend to ask a lot of why and go back in history and explore where problems come from. Whereas change oriented therapy tends to be more focused on motivating you to change, you know, so you might see CBT, CBT and DBT tends to be somewhat change oriented. Um, and so 
depending on what kind of treatment you need, like sometimes people really want inside oriented where they're kind of exploring where things came from and why they do what they do, whereas other people are wanting more change. They don't want to deal so much with the why, they want to do how. How do I get to the next step? And then there's people like me. I actually do a little bit of both. I tend to be more change oriented, but then if we're working on change and it seems to like hit roadblocks, then I go towards insight. Cause sometimes insight helps you to make better change. But even me, I'm more focused in that change oriented style. So that being said, I hope these tips can help you find a therapist if you need one. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. I do them every week and visit www.therapistinstlouis.com if you need counseling. Thank you.